Hi ladies, Caitlin here. Um, I am currently 23 weeks and one day pregnant today with little Wren. And um, he is getting huge. He's already the size of a grapefruit. I'm kind of comparing him to like what next week will be because he's already almost a, measuring a week ahead. Um, symptom wise, symptoms really have not changed really at all. The only new symptom that I have been having is um, uh, some Braxton Hicks um, every now and then. Nothing painful. I can just, they kind of take, not necessarily take my breath away, um, but I can just feel my stomach tighten a little bit and I remember this happening with Grayson around this time. So I'm not concerned about it at all. Um, so Braxton Hicks are starting and they're not consistent, nothing like that. They're just sporadic. Um, like I had one today while I was at work and, um, that's really about it. Um, but on the updating front, I did have, it was a scare, um, to me yesterday. Yesterday morning I went to sit down and I, have, I still have my one cup of coffee a day. And I went, um, and sat down on the couch to drink that. And I was just sitting there not doing anything. And I felt a little gush. And um, it was enough to where I felt it seep through. I didn't have a panty liner on or anything. And so I did feel it seep through my underwear onto my um, pants that I had on. And so I went to the bathroom and checked. And it was, um, it was clear, watery fluid. Um, and so I called my OB. Of course, it was before hours. I was getting up trying to get um, around and ready for work and um, it was before the office opened so I called and the midwife was on call and um, I told her you know that how much there was and I mean it was just clear watery it wasn't like normal discharge like I normally have so it was very very different and um, she goes well at first she kind of made me a little, she said, well, just keep an eye on it. And then if you have more, call the office throughout the day. And I said, well, don't you think that's kind of concerning that it was enough to, um, you know, soak through onto my pants and that it's clear and watery. I said, could that be my amniotic fluid leaking? And she goes, well, you're probably right. You should probably go and get checked. And I'm like, well... <laughs> If it could be amniotic fluid, heck, I'm, you know, I'm almost to viability or right at viability for him, thank God. But, I mean, I wanted it checked because it was concerning to me. And so, um, she said, you know, you should probably go and get it checked out. So, she said, just go straight up to L&D at the hospital. So, we went and, um, thankfully, they did the, um, Am amniosure and it takes about 10 minutes for the results and that was negative thank goodness so I don't know if it was just some sort of discharge that I had that was just more um, it was really really thin or it could have been heck I don't know I could have peed my pants for all I know but he could have just done a swift kick and made me pee I don't know <laughs> but um, thank God it wasn't that they checked me for any infection or a UTI and everything came back okay. Um, they were concerned though about um, the urine glucose level. So not my blood sugar, but my urine sugar level. Um, my urine sugar level was at 500. And all I had was a cup of coffee yesterday morning and then just went straight to L&D just to get checked. And they probably got my urine at like maybe eight o'clock ish and um at i had my cup of coffee at like 6 30 and by eight o'clock i had 500 urine glucose and um a normal is like zero to 15 <laughs> and mine was 500. so she said have you been had your um glucose check at your office and i said no but i've been asking about it and um, she goes, you should probably call. When's your next appointment? And I said, not until it's on May 4th. So it's not for a couple, 
you know, weeks away. And um, she goes, you might want to call and, and ask if they want to, you know, do some testing sooner than later. Because I wouldn't even have it at this next appointment. They would give me my glucose test or the drink at this next appointment. And then they would do my one hour glucose at the appointment after that. So technically, they're not even going to test me for another six weeks. And so I, after they discharged me from the hospital around like 10, 45, 11 ish, um, I called my OB and of course I had to leave a message and then I waited for them to call back and she goes, well, you know, just follow a strict diet now and then, you know, we'll just plan on doing our testing at normal time. So around 28 weeks. So I guess they're not too concerned that my glucose in my urine was freaking 500 so I'm just gonna follow um, a diet a diabetic diet regimen right now and um, kind of just hope for the best and then um, I haven't really been good about checking my blood sugars I did check it once yesterday after lunch I had a salad for lunch and then about an hour later it was my blood sugar was at like 122 so I mean that's not that's not terrible for a salad so I, I don't know, I'm kind of irritated by that because I really just want to get it tested and checked out, but oh well, but that's all I have for you. That's absolutely it. So I will just go ahead and show you a quick belly shot and then I'll be done. So let me tilt this down a little more. Sorry, my dogs are barking. We have company. My in-laws are over. So here is the belly. Inside. And lift the shirt up. There she is in all her glory. <laughs> so oh, sorry I covered you guys up so I will talk to you guys later bye